Hello fellow crafters. I have been cleaning and destashing and cle clearing everything up and I found some really nice fabric uh, in my stash. So what I wanted to do, uh, if you've already seen the picture, is little reusable snack bags and sandwich bags. I bought this fabric, it's called Pool, P-U-L from Hobby Lobby, shiny side, and the other uh, fabric-y, more fabric-y. This is the vinyl side. And what you do with this is this is the lining for your fabric. And basically what you're going to do is put the shiny side up, just like that. So this side that is fabric-y goes to the wrong side of the fabric and you cut out the piece that you want, you sew them, and you make yourself some reusable sandwich and snack bags. I have some dimensions here that I have been working with. I have been working with the 7.5 by 18 and the 14 by 7, which is a lunch bag. It's a little bit bigger, I believe because I need it for uh, little lunch and sandwich stuff. The other one is the smaller one, which is pretty tiny, and I believe this is the size that I need. This one here runs, um, let's see, I think this is seven, about seven inches. It's six and a half. Sorry about that. This is around 17, around 18, 18 inches, a little bit plus. So these are the little scraps that are left over from the ones that you see in the picture. And I'm going to put the si these little things to the side. And I'll be making some more little bags if I have any left over of the uh, pool. But for today, what I'm going to be doing is this cute little fabric. We are in March and I know we're doing St. Patrick's but this little fabric um, is so cute. I wanted to make some for our uh, patriotic holidays. Looks like it already has some kind of a seam at the um, edge. You can see that there. So yeah, it will be a lot easier for me to go ahead and have a straighter edge I think. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut two of the same size so I can make some sandwich bites for that. And I do have more fabric that I can possibly use. I just have to go and get it. But this is what I found like immediately as I'm going through my stash. I have my iron all ready to go here so I can iron out any wrinkles. And uh, the idea was from a couple of people, ma mainly a lot of people are doing these on um, YouTube. But my main idea is to go ahead and have this uh, instead of little Ziploc bags. So let me go over here and iron this fat uh, fabric. Really quick, my batteries are dying really quick. I believe I need to replace them uh, because they're not uh, keeping their charge. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to go back to the part that I have ironed. I'm going to cut out the piece to the desired length that I want. In this case, it's going to be the probably the big size, which is the one that I ironed. Okay, so. Hopefully this battery lasts. If not, I'm going to have to come back after my batteries have charged, probably this afternoon. So I'm going to go ahead and cut.
There's probably an easier way to do this, but because of the camera, it's just like right there in my face. But if I go ahead and just go across here and I make it straight, it looks a little thinner. I'm not too sure about this. But if you are cutting a lot of these, I would suggest like iron the pieces, get them out, cut them, and like an assembly. I'm just going to make one for now. And then I will probably prep everything up and then start cutting more. And I want these for the house so we can use these instead of the baggies. Um, they even work well for the refrigerator, leftover tomatoes, onions, bell peppers, anything you're cooking. Now, this one here is going to be cut a little bit smaller because what's going to happen is that you are going to fold this in. Once that is folded in, if you can see that, you're going to stick the pull right under there, fold it back down, and then sew it right at the edge. So you don't need the amount up here. And that's going to be on both sides. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it just a shy shorter from it. Um, and This thing is very strong. Okay, so over here we're going to go ahead and go to our ironing board. And you can probably see it all. I'll just Okay, so that is done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the shiny side, not the, not that side, but we're going to put the shiny side up, which has more of a vinyl feeling, right in there. And even then I cut it a little bit big. But what you're going to do, I don't know if you guys can see that, probably close in on it, is you're going to stick your protective material, whichever one you choose, right on there right under the fold it's like a little sandwich and then you're just going to go ahead and pin it or clip it however you like i like to clip mine and you're going to sew right at the edge right there and you take your material and do the same thing on the other side that's not a perfect cut and that's okay because I'm going to sew and then I'm going to cut. I'm going to even it out. Do you see how I cut up a little too big? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors, wherever they're at. Did I put them away? I must have put them away. Okay, so I usually have some scissors around, but I don't have any right now. So this is what I'm going to do is right at the edge of the folded edge, I'm going to go ahead and just cut it right along there. And that's all I'm actually losing. Should have been better at measuring, but I did it. But there you are. You're going to just go ahead and stick that right underneath there and pin or clip your choice. Put it there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, sew across on both edges, okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and come back and then 
bring this down once it's salt and I'll, I'll show you bring that down and put this up right up into the edge of the fold of the pool and then sew down but I'll show you that um, if my battery doesn't die I'll turn you guys around to my sewing hopefully you can see this but like I said I'm going to go ahead, you can see. Okay, so my batteries are running low. I'm trying to squeeze as much energy as I can. So what you're going to do is turn it on to the right side up, and you're going to go ahead and fold into a 2-inch, kind of, you'll see it, like I say 3A fingers. And then what you're going to do is you're going to bring this fold up all the way to the edge um, of this side, if you can see it all the way to the edge make it straight and then you can clip it I put three clips you can put one however your comfort zone is I just want to make sure that mine is right up that edge if you can see it hopefully you can I can't see the other side of the camera and then what you're going to do is you're just going to sew the outside here both sides Make sure you stretch this out because this seems, seems to kind of bunch up a little. Um, and then just sew it at about a quarter inch. And that way we can go ahead and make sure that we have it sealed. So I'm going to go here. And I am going to double stitch because it's going to take a lot of wear and tear. see remember I told you don't worry about those edges this is probably a little too much that I'm cutting but you know it's basically you can use these bias for anything so once they're done and if you measure it correctly then you can have um, a sandwich bag I'm using these and I mark them as my fabrics I have paper ones I'm going to just cut right above the stitch there and like I said don't worry about those little stripy things because you can always cut them off with this and once you get it all nice and clean and clear you will be okay and there we are cutting the second one I'm trying to rush before my battery completely dies and yes I do notice that my stitching is a little cockeyed and that's okay with me these are not going to be seen. They're going to be inside. I just have to find my scissors. Um, and good ones. Strange. Okay, so here is. Well, let me go. Okay, so here is the finished product. Like I said, all you're going to do is turn it inside out. Poke your little corners there. there and it all the way out if that's going to bother you chop it off um, and you flip it and this is your closure this will be your closure right there 
So just poke these out really nice. They look really cute. At this point, you can give it a light ironing. But there you are. This is your little baggie. All finished and done. If you like, you can decorate it. You can put a cute little bow there. You can put a, a little button, or you can even put Velcro and shut that down. If you like, I like it just this way. If you turn it upside down, nothing oh, upside down, nothing is going to fall. So the button can just go there. But there you are, and it is a finished. If I can find my ruler, oh, there's my scissors. Now if I can just find my ruler, where'd you go? Well, that's funny. Did I toss it to the side? Anyway. Hmm. What did I do with my ruler? That's going to really bug me. Before it dies, I'm going to go ahead and tell you how much it is. It is complete finish side, size 6 inches by around 7 inches. If you can see that, I'm just going to be right here and bring it down a little bit. If you guys can see that. There is your 7 inches by 6 inches. It's a little bit smaller than a sandwich bag, but, you know, you can use it for anything you want. You can put some crackers in here. And put crackers in there, and you are set to go. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget, subscribe, thumbs up, share this video, and ring the bell down below if you haven't, and you can get notified of videos that I post Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And stay tuned for more videos coming up for summer uh, and picnics. All right, guys. Bye for now.